What's up there everybody? This is MJ Knights and welcome to my first video upload. This video upload is going to be on Super Informed David Silva 89 rated. Uh, so please drop a like and subscribe and we will get more content like this in the future. Thank you. Anyways, we got that out of the way. Let's talk about his stats. Pace wise, 78 pace. Uh, I mean, that seems okay. Uh, and it really does reflect the card because his acceleration is 85 and for making those short runs you will definitely notice that he is good for that but long runs his sprint speed 72 will let you down he will get caught up by those defenders that have higher sprint speed and most of them have high sprint speed anyway so keep that in mind shooting uh, honestly his long shots with finesse are probably one of the best things about his shooting aspects his free kicks are good as well but his finishing in the box isn't that great. Um, he did make a couple here and there, but for the most part, his finishing wasn't the most accurate thing. But his long shots with finesse, definitely a highlight for his shots. Um, passing abilities, I mean, I can't say enough good things about his passing ability. He's, <laughs> I mean, he's, he's really a passing god, if I could say that. Um, for the most part, he will not let you down. He does short passes. He plays the short passes great. Long passes are, I mean, they're always accurate. Um, he's always getting the ball, you know, in a position where only your other player can get it. So if you see a, p a person open, just don't hesitate to throw that ball their way because he will get it there. Um, you know, whether or not they'll finish it is a different story. I found myself not finishing at the end of those balls. So in 25 games, he had 12 assists. Uh, he could have easily had more. Um, so, yeah, I mean, to me, his 91 passing felt like damn near perfection. Uh, felt higher to me anyways. So, dribbling, his dribbling, I would say, is pretty accurate. He's got four-star tricks, and he's got 93 dribbling with great ball control and agility. So, his four-star tricks... They are pulled off. Even a fake shot just feels better when he, you know, with a, with a person of his uh, dribbling abilities because uh, the ball stays closer to him and he's just good at maneuvering inside the box. So if you're a skiller or know how to maneuver in the box, you will definitely not be disappointed with his dribbling. Defensively, he's uh, kind of a surprise. His 36 defending feels higher. I mean, I played him in a center attacking mid position for the most part, and he, you know, he would make tackles that I wasn't expecting. So his 36 defending feels higher to me. I know nobody really cares, but I just thought I'd highlight that because it's kind of a surprise. So, anyways, we're going to get into his final and his worst stat. Oh, man, I, it sucks because I wanted to give him a 10. You know, I really only give 10s for players that they just blow me away, and this card was amazing. But his physicality, oh my god, it was the worst thing about the card, guys. It really was. And if you have this card, you'll know what I'm talking about. He gets hurt frequently. Uh, one time, I believe, yeah, he got hurt for about four games. And honestly, that hasn't happened. Um, that hasn't happened at all. So his physicality will let you down. I mean, you more than likely, you already expected him to be weak. Uh, 59 feels lower to me, honestly. So... That's really why I couldn't give him a perfect rating. But in, but in the end, guys, besides the finishing and besides his uh, physicality, I would say he's worth it. Uh, I picked him up for about 246 during the mini market crash, and uh, I intend to sell him. I don't really intend to keep him, but uh, I'm thinking he's going to go up to about 400000 um, probably after this whole price market crash is over with. So... In the end, guys, I would say he is worth it, and he will probably keep rising in terms of price for PS and for Xbox. Uh, some final takeaways. I did use a dead eye chemistry, as you can see there, but it didn't have any influence on his stats for some reason. So if anybody can drop a comment and let me know if that happens, you know, if, if, inf if informed cards get stat boost or not, but I didn't notice anything. Uh, some final takeaways. His sprint speed is garbage, and his finishing you know is lacking and his physicality will let you down but his uh, acceleration his long shots with finesse and his amazing passing abilities will definitely make up for everything they really will um so thanks again guys this has been mj knight drop a like subscribe and expect more content in the future peace